Seven signs your relationship is being affected by complex trauma. Have you ever been in a relationship that wasn't healthy? The trauma of a more complex kind is possible as a cause. People with severe PTSD may have a difficult time discovering and maintaining long-term love relationships. Even though complex PTSD may be difficult to diagnose, it is possible to have healthy, happy relationships despite the presence of PTSD, but only when the trauma has been processed and healed. Complex post-traumatic stress disorder may develop in people who have been exposed to several stressful incidents over a lengthy period. If you're suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, you're not just dealing with the effects of one incident, you're dealing with the effects of a series of traumas, generally happening in childhood or adolescence. Complex trauma may arise from seeing a caregiver's sickness or death, abuse or neglect by caregivers, or regular exposure to violent or chaotic settings. Those with severe PTSD may have a difficult time obtaining and maintaining long-term love relationships, and they may not realize it is because of their trauma. It might be difficult to pinpoint the source of one's sadness when the trauma occurred over a lengthy period. Complex trauma may be to blame if you've had a string of disastrous love relationships, often have unpleasant sex with several people, or frequently feel unhappy with your romantic partners. Here are seven symptoms that your love relationships aren't working out because you've been coping with severe trauma. You are always worried that your partners are going to leave you. People with complex PTSD are more likely to have relationship anxiety than the general population. Childhood trauma or having caregivers who are alternately loving and attentive and unreachable might develop to an anxious attachment style in adulthood, which in turn can cause a persistent worry that your spouse will desert you. You act needy or clingy. If you've ever been labeled as needy or clingy by a significant other, you may be suffering from complicated PTSD. The fear of being abandoned causes you to cling to your spouse fiercely, which may lead to your partner's departure, thereby fulfilling your fear of abandonment. This pattern of behavior might persist for years before you can identify and process the trauma that is causing it. You have an overactive sense of self-awareness or alertness. Even if you're in a loving relationship, you might have complex PTSD if you're always on the lookout for warning signs of problems or are too sensitive to slights. If you're in a series of relationships where you've been uneasy or on edge all the time, it's time to consult a therapist for possible complex trauma. You never have long-term relationships. An avoidant attachment style, triggered by complex PTSD, may be to blame for your inability to maintain a long-term relationship. If you were neglected or rejected by your caretakers as a youngster, you may reject others to avoid being rejected yourself. Because of your you can't harm me unless I hurt you first mindset, your chances of finding a long-term partner are dwindling. You often feel agitated or antsy in a relationship. You may be suffering from complex PTSD if you find emotional closeness difficult or if a long-term relationship seems like a danger to your sense of self. If you engage in this sort of conduct, you won't be able to develop a good long-term relationship with a romantic partner. You have a hard time trusting romantic partners. If you were abused or neglected as a kid, or if you grew up in a chaotic household, you may have difficulty placing your faith in love relationships. This is particularly true if the caregiver you loved was also a cause of your pain. It's common for adults to seek connection, only to push it away when it presents itself. This may be the result of complicated trauma causing an anxious avoidant attachment style.
You often say yes to sex even when you don't want it. At times, even when you don't feel the need for it, you may be suffering from complicated post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. The need for instant intimacy or the fact that sex dulls other unpleasant emotions may be reasons enough for you to engage in this behavior. As soon as the physical connection is attained, you may immediately break up the relationship and go on to another person, perhaps terminating it before it had a chance. This is a symptom of a complicated trauma-induced anxious avoidant attachment pattern. This is only a sampling of how intricate trauma may affect your relationships. Even if you suffer from complicated PTSD, you may have a happy, healthy relationship, but you must first process your trauma and recover from it. It is important to first understand that the difficulties you are facing in your love relationship are not your partner's fault, but rather the result of events that happened many years or even decades ago. If you enjoyed watching this video, please share it with your friends and I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Until next time, thanks for watching, stay safe and awesome.